Hello everyone, Jason here from the Altspace VR events team. I want to give you the lowdown on how to create an event using some of the new BRC VR templates that we have to choose from. Uh, they're pretty awesome, so check it out. This is how you can create a awesome meetup. So uh, go ahead and uh, go to altvr.com. That's the website. Uh, I've already logged in, but you can sign up or log in up here. And what I'm going to do is up at the top, click on events and get that started. So you see I'm at events. I'm going to click my events, my scheduled events, and go ahead and schedule that event. Nice. All right. So I'm going to scroll down here, just line that up. So um, we're going to create an event. So we're going to name all the all the BRC events, all, all the BRC VR events, we want to start like that. And then um, I'm just going to name it awesome event. Oh, awesome meetup. And I'm going to say awesome meetup description. And uh, your description has to have 10 characters in it. Otherwise, the event won't render. Uh, but uh, you know, while you're in 2D mode and on your PC, go ahead and write a nice description out and uh, let everybody know what's going to happen at the event and uh, you know what they can expect. Uh, now, as far as setting the, uh, the start time, you want to make sure the start time is in the future. And you want to make sure the end time is after the start time. Um, OK, cool. Now we have the categories. I'm going to choose Meetup. Uh, these are all just ways of sort of organizing them in the UI. If, if, if you like meetups, you can search by meetups and find all the meetups that way. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pick meetup. I'm going to make this a public event that you want because we're going to want to feature this event. So we're going to want to make it public. And you see we have these wonderful shiny new five templates to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and pick camp space. Uh, so let's go ahead and click on advanced options and get into some of the, the goodies for uh, setting up the event. So we have the tile image here. So that's going to be your hero image, the, 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 the image associated with your event. Um, so uh, those need to be 1920 by 1080. And also try not to have too much text on there. You don't really need that. The title of your event is always going to be like on top of this image or below it, wherever it goes. So don't worry about it doubling up on, you know, letting everybody know the name of your event. It should, it'll be in the text format here. Um, and, and again, just make sure you have the rights to use the image that you have in there. And lastly, 1920 by 1080, please. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm going to choose a file. Uh, I'm going to choose this image that I happen to have here. Oh, that's another good thing. If you just, if you already have this image um, ready to go, it helps with the, the event process. So maybe before you even have your event, have this image ready, just makes it a little faster. Uh, copy tile image to background banner image. Uh, go ahead and do this. Uh, you'll see when you create this event, it makes a web page um, on our website. And this, this banner image will be the, the image up there uh, and, and the tile, uh, uh, sorry, the banner doing it this way just kind of takes this, uh, the middle sliver of your tile image. So you don't have to create two images. You can come back here and adjust it if you don't like the way it looks. All right, cool. So let's uh, scroll down to instructions here. So we have um, stuff, you know, welcome to this event two exclamation points. So when you hop into the event and you, you're actually going to the event, when you, when you load in there, this is a message that everybody will see. You can welcome them or give them instructions or, or, or you know, a, a short description of what, what the, what's going to happen in the event. Excellent. So for, for that, uh, we don't need too much of this other stuff here. Go ahead and experiment with that if you want, but we're going to go ahead and create the event. And we'll wait for the servers to churn on this. Creating event creating event, creating event, and the event was successfully created. Excellent. Uh, so you'll see that is a good check mark to, get, to have. Uh, this is our title. This is our description, uh, the time for the event. Uh, this is a share button. If you click this, this will give you the URL to, to this page here. That's the same as, as up here. Uh, so if you, if you copy and paste this, um, into Twitter or into Facebook, it's going to have a bunch of metadata there. And then anybody that's looking on Twitter that sees your event, if they click on it, uh, they'll just click that link and then they'll come right to this event page here. Um, and if they're logged in, they can click interested. I'm already interested because I built, I made the event, but uh, they can click interested here. And then what that does is it, it sends uh, them an email one hour before your event starts. So um, yeah, pretty cool. Now, the other thing that we want is we want to edit the event to add people to your event 
and feature my event. But let's just real quick, this event just got made, so let's hop into Alt Space and uh, make sure that the event's looking looking good. So we'll cl uh, click on Events down here. We'll click on My Events up here. And then you see we have the BRC Awesome Meetup event here. So I'm gonna click on Enter and we'll hop into the event. Just make sure the event space is looking as it should and make sure we see our awesome welcome message. Welcome to the event, two exclamation points. Gotta have them, very cool. All right, so you can see here, we are in our event space, looking good. Uh, so that's that's working great. So our event is all made up, ready for an awesome meetup. So let's head back to the web page, And so we're gonna, uh, we're gonna click on edit. And this is uh, not available until you actually have created the event. So this is a contextual role. So this is where you can add users in here. So you'll be adding uh, their alt space username here. Um, and then what role that you want to give them. So typically you're adding somebody as a moderator or a presenter. If you add somebody as a presenter, that gives them the ability to have a megaphone. So if you want somebody up on stage to do their, you know, whoever's all the people you want to have up on stage, you can, you know, add them as presenter. Um, so these are where you add that and you can't do that until after the events created. Okay, um, yeah, so let's just uh, head back here. And uh, last but not least, we wanna go ahead and click feature my event, submit, oh yeah. Okay, yeah, so thank you for your submission. We will view your request shortly. That's great. So you've now you've sent us a signal that you wanna have your event featured. Uh, we'll put that, uh, we'll check it out and put that on our featured events page and it'll uh, show up in, in the UI a little better when it's featured. Um, a lot more people will show up to your event if it's featured. Uh, you don't have to necessarily have to have a featured event, but we're in the featured events game. So, uh, you, know, uh, you know, I showed you that thing where you could have it public or private. If you wanna set it private, that's, that's fine as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, so those are the uh, tips and the tricks to get your uh, event created. So there it is, have fun and enjoy your awesome meetup.